pet owners beware. Local breeders and shelters in the area are currently facing one major problem. Scammers looking to take advantage of folks like you during the holiday season. KLBK's Grace Morris found out what current and future pet owners should know. Grace, do these scams target any particular type of pet? Unfortunately, Alyssa, when it comes to scams, all pets are created equal. But while these scams center around pets, these scammers are really after your money. And breeders and shelters alike say it gets worse over the holidays. Holidays is crazy um, with the scammers. Breeders and shelters alike are feeling the effects of scammers trying to take advantage of the holiday season. And so these scammers show them a picture, they entice them with a really low cost and then the minute you pay them that like say you go on paypal and you pay them that the minute that happens they're going to block you and they're gone these pet scams run in two major ways scammers will steal a photo of a high value pet and list it for a low price disappearing after they've received payment if you want a twenty five hundred dollar dog you're not going to get a twenty five hundred dollar dog for $100. It's just not going to happen. Or they'll collect found pets and sell them on Craigslist without ever having their microchip scanned to find the original owner. Texas teacup Yorkie breeder Robin Church has had scammers steal photos of her puppies many times, and she says these scams affect her business. And now they're not trusting of me. Um, they, they're just a little leery. To avoid these pet scams, Church says you should always ask the seller to see the pet before sending any money. And we do FaceTime all the time um, for, our, for our clients. And so a live chat, a video chat, um, is, a good, is a good way if you're not able to visit with the, with the breeder. But Randolph believes these scams have only increased in 2020. I think the pandemic is causing poverty and poverty leads to fraud. It leads to crime. It leads to misery of all manners. So, you know, when you see people that are struggling, they're going to be looking for a way to hustle and find a dollar somewhere. Both Church and Randolph plan to continue to fight back against scammers and help all their puppies find good homes. The normal public, they, they're just looking for a dog. They're just good people looking for a pet and they shouldn't be treated that way. Church says it's important for those looking to get a pet to do your research on the shelter or breeder that you're buying from. Video chat with them, check their references, and most of all, Alyssa, don't send money over the internet.